I eat any more pumpkin, I might start turning orange. Welcome back everybody. My name is Parker and you're watching yet another fall inspired fast foodies review. Now, if this is your first time tuning into the channel, I would truly appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button. It's a small thing you can do that really does help out the fast foodie YouTube channel and more importantly, fast foodie nation. But as I mentioned, this is another fall inspired review, but thankfully it's not another pumpkin inspired review. I've reviewed so many pumpkin flavored ice creams, pumpkin flavored cookies, pumpkin flavored milkshakes, pumpkin flavored peanut butters. Man, I am very close to being pumpkin out. And it's not even October. Well, at the time that I'm recording this, it's not October. But thankfully, thankfully pumpkin isn't the only fall flavor. You know what another very popular fall flavor is? Apples, well, apple crisps or apple crumbles rather. You see here we have the limited time only apple crisp ice cream from favorite day. And then we also have these, what are they? Apple crumble blossoms also from favorite day. And now I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to eat these apple crumble blossoms frozen. Let's see, yep, you gotta put them in the oven or the microwave. It's crazy. If you cook these in the oven, it takes up to 20 minutes, but in the microwave, only 60 seconds. I'm definitely gonna be putting in these, in these, these in the microwave. And while these are in the microwave, I'll try out this ice cream because, well, you're supposed to eat your ice cream frozen. Oh man, look at how big these are. I was not, I was not, I thought these were gonna be little desserts. These things are massive. Oh, it kind of makes sense. There's only, there's only two in this entire package. <laughs> I should have, should have thought that they'd be big, but man, I was not expecting them to be these ginormous. All right, now I'll be right back. All right, let's see how far into this ice cream review I can get before those apple blossoms are done. Let's see if I can open this ice cream before those apple blossoms are done. Sorry, dad. Oh boy. All right, I'm gonna have to take a minute here to read you guys this description. Apple crisp ice cream swirled with caramel and oatmeal pieces. Look at that. Delicious apple flavor. Those oatmeal pieces, Woo! they are incredible. Apple blossoms are done. Let me wrap this up really quick. Oh, um, that caramel swirl could be a little, a little thicker, but man, this is good ice cream. 9.5 out of 10. All right, let me grab those. Apple blossoms, I only cooked one of them because, well, as I mentioned like four times, these are massive. These things are massive. These things are massive. These things are massive. But look at that. It's almost like a, a mini apple pie. It's a, it's a, you know, you guys have seen those uh, personal pizzas. This is the personal pizza version of, or personal, apple pie version of an apple pie. <laughs> that makes any sense. <laughs> and I assume it's called a blossom because it's supposed to look like a, like a flower. Oh, look at that. Soft, ooey, gooey on the inside. Hoping it's a little crispy on the outside. Mmm. This is actually reminding me of a dessert my mom makes all the time called apple strudel. It's a very European dessert, which makes sense why she makes it so often is because she's European. <laughs> but it's reminding me quite a bit of that. Now, it's not quite as good as my mom's homemade apple strudel, but mm, it's pretty tasty, especially for a frozen dessert that I just bought at Target. I am enjoying this. It's a little hot though. 
I can't really get in the filling. But I'm finding that the, the ratio of crushed to apple is pretty, pretty on point. I would have liked for maybe a bit more of the filling. I'm finding that the crust is a tad thick. But overall, mm, especially on a, a cold fall day, oh, pair of this with a, a mug of the warm, of the hot, hot pumpkin spice cocoa that I reviewed with my mom. <laughs> um, the true fall treat. For ratings, I'll give this, I'll give this a nine out of 10. But you guys know what I'm about to do. It's time for some uh, hot and cold, if you know what I mean. A little bit of that, a little bit of this. Mmm, oh, mmm. That's one of the best <laughs> fast foodie creations I've created. <laughs> yeah, oh man, that was good. I'm gonna take a moment. Oh, that was, uh, oh, something else. We made it to the end of this video, and I'm sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, and to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, and you can head on over to Instagram, follow the fast foodies at Fast Foodies Review.